Good morning, welcome back. Um, it's been a little while, I've just not been feeling bloggy. We've got, it is quite stressful. We're still waiting for the sale of our Devon property to go through. I told you last time we, the sale fell through on our flat, so it's been a little bit stressy. But also, um, you know, I've been pretty scruffy every day, so I don't particularly want to film myself looking so scruffy. Put some makeup on today. You are privileged. Um, and we've just been car booting and packing orders and listing and all that sort of stuff. Pretty busy. My daughter was over at the weekend. That was really nice, actually. We took her to the car boot on Saturday and it was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. But then luckily, um, Sunday was better. So we did get a bit of nicer weather on Sunday. Um, and then she's gone back to Nottingham. So she's actually finished uni and um, end of June, she's moving out of her property. And <laughs> we have no idea how the purchase of our next property, how far along we are. So we don't know whether we're gonna be here or whether we're gonna be in a new place. And it's all gonna be really busy because we've got a go and get her stuff which isn't going to fit in one car load and then find somewhere to keep it and then if she's staying with us long term then I've got to make that room better <laughs> for her to live in but I don't know I don't know it's I suppose I quite like things when I know where I am and I know where I stand and you know and how everything is up in the air at the moment it's making me a little bit out of sorts at sorts. Anyway, today the sun is shining. Hooray! And um, we're off to do our rounds of the antique centres again. So hopefully I'll be able to take you out about. Hopefully we won't get any phone calls on our journey. Um, well, not bad ones anyway. And um, yeah, first I've got to pack some orders and get things underway and then we'll get off about 10. If you want to see my like car boot hauls, then you're probably better going over to Linkage Pickers, subscribing to that, because they'll be in with their hauls on that channel. Um, I'll show you the odd bit here and there. I just don't want to go, and I bought this, and I bought this, and I bought this, because I'm buying a lot of different stuff now, not just vintage. Um, but I thought I'd show you bits that are lying about that I haven't dealt with yet, or are listed, or whatever. How cool is this teapot? Isn't it unusual? And underneath it is signed, I couldn't quite make it out, but it's hand-painted in Africa. It's got zebras on that side, and on the other side, elephant. That cool. So that's gone on my eBay shop, and so is this. Um, my brain's froze. Studio pottery, a look at that cool thing. And then can you remember I got the dogs with personality? Pets with personality, the dogs. Well, I found two cats. There's one. And that's the other one. And that one's sold. So I'm going to get that packed up this morning. And I also picked up this beautiful Wittard's teapot. Uh, I just think it's fab. Those are a few bits that are over from my website. Those are still on my website at the moment. Although I will be swapping things around soon. Um, I've still got the t-shirts if anyone's interested. Those Egyptian cotton t-shirts, they're still on there at the moment, but they will be coming off very soon. Uh, these are just a few bits that I'm taking to the booth. I've put all the rest of the stuff away already. Just a pirate dish, a nice little casserole dish, beautiful mirror. Um, this studio pottery, isn't that gorgeous? Love that mid-century look. And then in here, Guinness salt and pepper pots, toucans. So I've got those up because I'm taking those today. So this is sold, I'm sending that off today. Game, two little kitties. I'm out in the garage, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Out in the garage, finding more things that are sold. So I saw this pink case. Um, and I also need to find boxes and things to pack, but we've got a lot of stuff. It's now about quarter past 10 and we're on the road. Um, we've already dropped every parcels, Royal Mail parcels off. Now we've got to go to Impost and then make our way to our lockup. We need to go and get some stuff from there. Then we're going to Borough to the antique centre there to put up 
I've only got a few bits to put in, but I just want to have a tidy up and a fiddle round and stuff and make sure it's still looking all right. So here we are at the Borough one. Um, we just had a little shifty round, put some new stuff out. You'll be able to see some photos when I, on my social media and stuff. I've left some space because she's put some of my baskets and things in the window, so didn't want to fill up every single gap. Centre does it differently, but at Borough they work out how much you've taken, and at the end of or the beginning of the month, they give you your takings for the month previous with notes of what everything you've sold. Um, and I'm really pleased, I'm not going to tell you the exact figures because I don't want to, but um, <laughs> I'm pleased it's um, been a profitable start so that's good and um i also saw what i'd already sold in june bearing in mind it's only what is it the sixth i don't know whatever the date is today um we've already sold quite a few bits in june so yeah it's looking good i mean obviously the summer months are the better months that's when you sell them the more stuff so we'll have to work it out over a year but it's looking promising yesterday um Court had a trip out. She went to London. She was invited to a YouTube reseller summit or something. I don't know what they called it. Um, so she went there the day. She did say, oh, you can come with me. But to be fair, when she asked me about it, we were just really stressed with the house and stuff. And I just thought, I can't. I can't be doing it. So she went with a friend. Um, I think they've done a little vlog. So check out the kitchen pickers for that for her little trip to London. Um, and they're getting, I think, I think they're on, they're over 700 subscribers now, aren't they? Can you remember how many it is? Yeah, virtually 800. Nearly 800 subscribers. So if you haven't already, then go over there. Um, I'm tending to put my hauls in with their hauls and their haul videos. So if you're missing the, the sort of copy car, hauls and that, they're on there. But yeah, I'd really appreciate you popping over and subscribing because once we get over that thousand it opens up new avenues and stuff so um it's sunny at the moment we did just have a little bit of a downpour but we're hoping it's going to stay sunny so we're on our way to horncastle now um tommy the owner has moved my cabinet from the back to right near the front door so i don't know if that's going to be better i've no idea <laughs> i don't know how the positioning helps in that place but um obviously people can't walk past it and miss it do you know what i mean so fingers crossed it's even better left the antique centre, the second one in Horncastle, this one. Um, I've rearranged everything. I didn't put much new stuff in there, just a couple of things. I've rearranged everything. Um, and I'm just having a little walk into Horncastle. It looks like it's going to rain again and Bob's message and said it's raining now. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go get a sauna and have a look in the charity shops. It started tipping it down, so we had to pop into the pub. Uh, we just had a bit of lunch, and now we're going to just pop in one charity shop. And Bob sent us on a mission to find elastic bands. So, charity shop, elastic bands. We didn't find anything in the charity shops. But we did get elastic bands, so Bob will be very happy. 
and it's sunny now and hot and I've got the coat on so we'll go and see what the weather's like in Louth. There's Goose, he's having a sleep. He's just sat up. He looked like a dead dog a minute ago. You're not bothered in the slightest. So we've just been in Louth, topped up quickly, the stuff in there and collected our money because again, it's done at the end of the month. So we've taken out the cost of the booth for next month and we've got a little bit left over, so that's good. Right, we're off to walk around Louth and have a little search of the charity shops. When we came last week, it was raining and horrible.
clouds heading back and um no, it's nice it's very busy um but there's lots of independent shops which i like beautiful cheese deli which looks gorgeous and then there's some like boutiques and, and there's even an independent record shop and yeah all sorts there's a few quite a few charity shops but again the prices and to be honest i didn't even see anything i would have wanted to buy anyway even if i had checked out the prices <laughs> but it's about quarter three and we're heading back um we've got to do the food shop um we're thinking aldi probably before we go back and i'm going to regroup work out all of the sort of what we saw i've got lists from the places what's sold so that i can have a proper look so i know what to look out for what things are selling although you never do know do you really what you're going to find and what people want it's a whole different story every every day but yeah it'd be interesting to have a look through all the sold what's gone um and then it's back to listing packing sorting tomorrow it's been a really good day today um we haven't had any major stress <laughs> I haven't heard from the solicitors today, which I suppose could be a stress in itself that we've not heard anything. But anyway, put that to one side. Um, all three booths that I've got space in, in different shapes and forms, are all performing well. So I can't complain at that, can I? And um, getting to know the people there and yeah, it's going really well. It was really nice to have a look around laugh. It was my first chance to have in a while. So really enjoyed that so I hope you did too um what did I want to say thank you to Kerry for ordering on my website really do appreciate that appreciate your support um I'm gonna start a little 20% off offer um I haven't set it up yet but I will before this video comes out so check out the description box below and um I'll put in there what the discount code is that you'll need to get 20% off um, obviously there's all of my lovely silver jewellery on there, so it's 20% off that. It's perfect if you're just going to think about buying a gift for somebody. There's still wax melts on there and all the t-shirts, the Egyptian cotton t-shirts are on there as well. Um, so check out the description box below for the 20% discount code. The links to all various things like my social media, our other channel, Linkage of Pickers, to our eBay store to um, what else? To my Avon, if you want to order Avon, if you use my link, it doesn't cost you any extra, and I earn a tiny bit of commission. Uh, there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it was. I was thinking earlier, oh, I should say that. Hang on, I can't remember what I was going to say. It's gone. Anyway, I put these on my website uh, yesterday. Don't know if anybody's interested in them. I picked them up at a car boot. And I'm only selling them for two pounds for a pack. Towel hanging up there because I've got no else hiding a towel. Can you see? Party fans. So they're gold and white. There you go, like that. Gold and white. They make into big party fans. I just thought they were so cool. So you get two, four, six. Six in the pack, I think. It says two pieces 16 inch, two pieces 12 inch and two pieces 18 inches. Includes string. So if you're having a party, two pound a pack. Anyway, I only got two. So if you're interested, link to my website's down below. Um, No, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go and have a drink in the pub. So um, I'll finish this vlog off later. half eight we haven't been in the pub that long we came back we had some tea we've watched an episode of um clarkson's farm and then i'm just gonna go into bed and edit my video so exciting lives we lead <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching um if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please think about doing so also jeanette 
and Simon carry on regardless. I've started doing hauls and vlogs and stuff as well. So if you like the reselling content, then go over to Carry On Regardless. I'll put a link in the description below box. Go follow them. Um, yeah, and thank you very much for watching. Remember, thumbs up, comments, all help my algorithms, as do um, interactions on my social media. So Facebook and Instagram are the main two. If you follow me there, just press that little heart button because it all helps it be seen by more people. Right, I'll stop preaching at you. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.